Whew, what's going on, guys? I know I haven't been uploading a lot lately, but uh, you know I'm going to get back on my game. And I'm thinking about starting a podcast soon. soon. I said soon. With Anchor.fm, I downloaded the app. You know, I'm going to start writing down what I want to talk about. And, of course, you know, it has to be paragraphs on top of paragraphs. I want it to be at least 10 minutes. You guys, I'll, I'll give you guys the link when I'm done. But this is uh, Lori Lightfoot the new mayor of Chicago and I'm glad and I hope she really does improve Chicago especially south side and west side of Chicago where majority of black people live cuz you know Emmanuel wait, what was his name again it's not Emmanuel D- uh Rami Emmanuel duh I, I, okay Rami Emmanuel his douchebag wasn't doing anything to stop all the stuff and the way you stop the violence is to employ the people put higher paying jobs you know open up a warehouse there I believe Rahm Emanuel had put this black woman in office and somewhere in a, in a position, and she shut down 50 schools there. So that's really bad thing to do and all that stuff. But I hope she does better and improves south side and west side of Chicago. We already know north side of Chicago is the burbs and where the majority of the white people are. But just listen to this. I'll let you uh, guys, you know, you guys let me know what you think in the comment, like, subscribe, share the video. I'll talk to you in the next one, which should be soon. Again, but from the moment that I arrived in Hyde Park to attend law school and begin my career, this is the city where I belong. It's where I met the love of my life, my wife Amy. It's where our daughter Vivian was born, and she's growing up to be into the kind, curious, and spirited young woman that I always knew she would be. For me, this city has given me such opportunity. It's been a city of hope. As I stand here today, I can't help but think about where I came from. And I know in my heart that a story like mine of a kid growing up in a working class family, growing up to realize the dreams of my father and my mother through education, hard work, and sheer determination needs to be the story of possibility in every neighborhood. Children who look like me and come from families like mine shouldn't have to beat the odds to get education, pursue their passions, or build a family. Black and brown kids, low-income kids, every kid in this city should know, should grow up knowing they can pursue anything. They can love anyone. That's my Chicago dream. And I know we're just a little bit closer to that dream as I stand here today, inaugurated as Chicago's first black woman mayor and first openly gay As I stand here today, Georgia is also on my mind, as is Alabama and every other state that is enacting laws intended to deprive women of their rights. We must stand with women all across our country who fear for their basic rights and feel powerless in the face of hateful legislation designed to control our bodies and our choices. We cannot go back, not in Chicago, not in our nation. We will join together and we will fight. I stand before you, representing tens of thousands of people all over this city who daily contribute their time, their talent, their resources in a cause of making a difference, not just today, but if we are bold, our collective efforts will resonate for years to come. Our people, friends and neighbors, known and unknown, at the block level, in our places of worship, in community organizations, and just individuals who want to make a difference have stepped up and contributed mightily to what is the greatness of this city. I will have the privilege of leading, but clearly a single leader cannot heal all that ails us. A single leader cannot by herself conquer all the challenges that will be present on this day and every day forward. 
We all have to be part of the solution. We must make the sacrifices necessary to identify problems and to forge solutions. And my friends, we must not merely rely upon the politicians, the preachers, the police, the teachers, the activists to show us the way. We can no longer continue to concede our control of our destiny to someone else. Each of us needs to ask, what can I do? What contributions can I make? You may not be the richest, you may not be the smartest, or even the most able, but ask yourself, are you ready to serve? Because your city surely needs you. What has been, what has been the most humbling and amazing part of this journey is the tremendous hope and optimism that I'm feeling from people all over this city. My friends, it is this message of hope and possibility that should get us up in the morning, start us on our way, and bring us together with the excitement and the promise born of harnessing our collective energies to move forward. Our challenges are great, there's no mistaking that. But if we follow our four stars, safety, education, civility, and integrity, we can once again become a city that families want to move to, not run away from. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter your circumstance in life, Chicago is now on a mission to join hands with you, to share power with you, and to give you the reason to believe that we can all pull in the same direction to make Chicago better together. And if we follow the great commandment together as neighbors, our great city will shine. God bless you. And God bless this great city of Chicago.